this feels so weird filming from a tripod because I don't normally film like this. Normally I've got my camera on a selfie stick and I'm just recording, but anyway. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. So today, what I thought I would do is show you my new daily, because as a lot of you know, I sold my Rolls Royce Phantom. <laughs> and a lot of you guessed it right in the last video. It is a Skoda Octavia VRS, and it's the 2022 model, which is the Mark IV. So here she is. As you can see, I've gone for the estate version. And if you're wondering, she is the two litre diesel automatic. Um, they do do a petrol version of this. However, the sort of mileage that I do and the sort of driving that I do, a diesel is much more cost effective. Now, what I absolutely love about this car is, as you can see, it is huge. That is why I went for the estate because it just, it, it's got that, I think that little bit more length a bit more storage space than the four door and I actually think this looks better than the hatchback version. I did originally want a Mark III version of this car um, but I couldn't find the right one uh, with you know the correct mileage and year and spec so here I am I bit the bullet and went for a new-ish one. It had only done 6,000 miles when I bought it I've already put like 1500 miles on it in the last couple of weeks. So I've sort of got used to this car very quickly. I wanted it in black. I didn't want to go for that blue. I do like the blue, but I think it's a bit too loud for me personally. However, it does look fantastic. They also do a white and they do do a green. But one thing I will say is whilst driving out and about on the roads, I very rarely ever see one of these. Like they are very rare as far as I'm aware. And that rhymed. Um, the reason why I went for an estate is because I do a lot of driving. I wanted something that looks professional and also something where you can fit loads of crap in the boot, just like that. Um, I carry a lot of gear and stuff, so I need it, you know, different tools and things like that and all different items and boxes and whatnot. So I thought, let's go for the estate. We've got mounds of room in there. I think it's about 630 litres. Um, it is absolutely phenomenal how much stuff you can get in there, even right down to a McDonald's. Uh, cup <laughs> got a few little handy features where you can like pull these and the seats go flying forward i'm not going to do it now because um it's just going to make a mess but yeah that's the boot you've got a little automatic button everything's all blacked out now as well that's what i like like the badges they're not screaming about the fact that it's a skoda which i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but if you look at it skoda have up their game i think in terms of styling and stuff they are of course part of the VAG group, which is the Volkswagen Audi group. So essentially it's a Volkswagen. 19 inch wheels. I'm not sure if that's standard across the VRS range because I have seen, I'm not sure on this model, but the older model, them with 18 inch wheels on. Uh, the VRS comes with the red calipers as well, as you can see. Now, one thing I absolutely love about this is the front end. I think it looks great. You can see it's like completely blacked out. Um, except the badge which for some reason does look like a voxel badge <laughs> i don't know why just from a distance i may well get a black badge for that um it's got like led headlights they're really good at night time they're like bright white um it's got sweeping indicators all that sort of thing got the little vrs badge on it as well so that's another nice stylish touch on the car the wing mirrors they go in they're like automatic so when you lock your doors, they will close up. It's got a shark fin aerial on the top. I'm surprised they still do this in 2022. I didn't think you actually needed that, but there we go. Blacked out roof rails. So you've got the spoiler with the LED light in it. And then if we go down low enough, you can see we've got the twin fake exhausts. Now, these are actually fake. They're not real, but they look real. I think if you look in here close enough, you can see the twin exhaust pipe. Got these little air inlets or outlet style grills, which don't really do anything. But again, they look great. And then I'll show you the back first. That is, you know, what it looks like in the back. Um, if you've got a family or kids and stuff, they're probably not gonna see much when sat in the back because these seats are pretty like, Pretty hench to say the least <laughs> um, but yeah that's the back if you're wondering have a quick look go on um, like I say it's just a general overview of the car and then this is the inside 
and this is the main thing I love about this it's the seats I think they just look great red stitching look all the way around I love red stitching I love red stitching and red stuff in interiors if you're a long time follower of my channel you will know that because I did a load of red stuff in my VW transporter even get a complimentary message from Skoda welcome Darren it's nice isn't it flat bottom steering wheel all the controls on here cruise control a load of buttons along here um, this is like a suede finish with more red stitching. Take a look. Carbon fiber all along here. Um, these have like an LED light underneath. I don't know if you can see that, it's like red now, but sometimes that might go green or white. Uh, I think you can change it. It's got a bag of settings on here, which I won't go through today. But one thing I wish this car had was air conditioning knobs. It's all done on the screen. I think what I'll do in one of my next videos is Go over a list of things I love and hate about this car. We've got flappy paddles on here as well. You can even change like the display on here. So it's got like a digital dash. So there's all keyless start. It feels like a sales pitch, doesn't it? <laughs> um, you can change the, come on, don't mess me about, mate, I'm doing a video. You can change the display on here. So it's got like a digital display that all the sat nav and stuff comes up on here. So it's fully spec'd out. It's like really good. You can do different things from your phone as well. I just downloaded the app today. You've got Apple CarPlay as well. It's basically got a load of things you don't need, <laughs> but do come in handy. So... Yeah, it's been great. For the sort of mileage I do, I needed to go for the diesel. I couldn't start going for petrol because it just rinsed my pocket. <laughs> this car has already rinsed me because I went well over budget on what I wanted to spend on a car. But here we are. What I'll do in my next one is do like maybe a little drive out, show you how things work, tell you the things I do and don't like about it. But overall, I'm really pleased with this. It drives great. It handles really well. And overall, it's just a great car. Um, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think of the Skoda Octavia or Octavia, however you wish to say it, VRS down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you all again soon for the next one.